You have been reconciled to God through the death of the Son. Through Jesus Christ, you are reconciled to God. Through the death of the Son, you are closer to God than you will ever be. You are so close right now. You are close. And you will never perish. If you are a believer, you will never perish. If, if you have not believed, I will tell you the gospel at the very end. I will save a minute to tell you the gospel. I want to encourage all of you guys that if you are in Christ, you are reconciled. Rekindled, there is a now a new relationship between you, the Father, the Son. You are closer to God than ever before. And you have eternal life. You are reconciled. You are made known by God through the Son. You have peace with God through faith in the Son. Romans 5 verses 1. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you. You factually, not experientially, but you factually have, or should I say, not just experientially, but you factually, all words aside, I'm not even going to use these words, you as a person have peace with God. That's it. That's the truth. I'm not going to add any words to it because that is the truth. You as a person have peace with God through faith in Jesus Christ. And therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God, right? This is a beautiful knowledge and saying. It's a beautiful truth. Reconcile to God. God's mercy is bigger than any mistake you have made. And that is true. It is very much true. God loves you. He does. He died on the cross for you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He gave up his life to give you a new one. If you have not yet believed in Jesus Christ, let me tell you the gospel right now. You see, we've all sinned. Romans 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. We've all messed up. We haven't met the standard. And we're all deserving of punishment. Romans 6 verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, the punishment of my sin is death. It's not just having a bad time here on earth. That's just because of sin in general. But my personal punishment is death. But because of God's love, Jesus Christ died in my place. And I can be given an eternal life, an eternal home one day through faith in Jesus Christ. Here is the gospel. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Do you believe that? Do you believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God who is God, died for all of, you, for all of your sins, past, present, and future? And he gives you an eternal life if you believe in him. Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, who is God, eternally existing Son of God, died for your sins. Do you believe that he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again the third day? If you have decided to believe that truth in Jesus Christ today, you are saved. You are forgiven of past sins, present sins, future sins. In fact, all of your sins were in the future when Jesus died, because he died 2,000 years ago, and we were 2,000 ahead, 2, years ahead of the time. That is a blessing and an amazing truth. Now I want to assure you that you've been saved. I'm going to open up to Ephesians 1, verse 13 to 14. Ephesians 1, verse 13 and 14. Ephesians 1, verse 13 says, In whom ye also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth. What is the word of truth? The gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Verse 14, in which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. That is until the rapture. You have the Holy Spirit all the way through now. Amen.